basically because that's what this thing is going to do for us in a minute. Alright, here's my power plug. Power plug. And I've said already, oh damn, I was playing music. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not doing it on purpose. Please don't try and sue me or anything. I'm, <laughs> I'm not even going to tell you people who that is. <laughs> Hopefully nobody will find out. I think they have computers doing it nowadays anyways. Okay, so this side is the positive and this side is the negative. So positive and negative. Put that in there. Put that in there. Okay, and you see over there it says we have 19.7 milliamps. Which is perfect. And you can see that thing was getting uh, stimulated. There you go. Got a badass, bright, freaking, that's a nice, healthy looking laser beam. Yeehaw, baby. <laughs> so uh, we're at 19 point something. Uh, so we're supposed to be at about 20 milliamps, and that should be at about 5 volts. But in a second here, I'm going to show you how to hook this up to the um, voltage regulator, the 5 volt voltage regulator so that you can run it off of anything and it'll be safe and it'll be bright as hell forever and uh, you won't have to worry about burning these out because they're way too fucking easy to burn out alright so uh, back okay we're recording I guess okay alright back after a smoke break actually no the smoke break's still going kids you shouldn't smoke all right um new yes okay um meh music okay um yes these resistors i am using where where did they go oh jeez man they were just here a second ago what the hell Oh, there. Okay, you see how big and fat these are? Yeah, I'm not going to give you whatever. There's my thumb. Alright, this is a one half watt resistor, which means it's going to be kind of fat. It's made for resisting, you know, heat, or whatever. But you see how small these other little itty bitty ones are? These ones would be ideal. These ones are, are one eighth watt resistors. But the thing is, is I couldn't find little itty bitty resistors like this, which I really would like for, you know, putting on our lasers. I would love this size of resistor because we're not resisting that much power. Come on, man. Okay, because we're not resisting that much power. These ones would be ideal versus these big, huge ones, but the big, huge ones were the only ones that I could find in the correct um, um, resistances. So 68 and 15, you know, and these ones come in 470. They come in a bunch of different, you know, sizes, whatever, but... Uh, just as long as it says 68 ohms and 15 ohms, or it adds up to whatever those two add up to, if you could find one resistor that's that resistance, that'd be great, but the uh, chances are pretty small because they don't make <laughs> uh, resistors specifically like that. So you usually have to end up adding two resistors if you want to make crap perfect. Okay, so that was some little stupid side crap. So here's our 7805 5 volt regulator. 
which goes right here see the three pins they work exactly like that and there's our two resistors which are our two resistors and there's our thing and uh, come on stop rolling okay and it'll be going like this and uh, in a second here I'm going to uh, take my black and red wire and wire this up to show exactly how you know this could be wired so that uh, you people can see how so that you people can see how well and easily this works and how reliable and nice and good it is and all that good junk alright so we'll be back in a minute with a wired up uh, working thing okay so we have our representative circuit here which is our positive wire from our batteries coming in going to this lead All right just like on there and then the negative wire from the battery coming in and going to the negative which is this middle lead just like on here and that negative also goes on to the LED laser see it goes from there to the middle and then on over here to the LED laser right okay and then out of the other side which is this wire right here comes over here to the positive you know on the LED laser which you know is exactly like that right okay now I have this hooked up to my uh, power supply my variable power supply Urgh. and now I'm going to turn up the voltage so voltage is alright now 7.2 volts is the normal uh, battery pack like this so it's running off of 7.2 volts and it's got a nice good looking bright uh, let me just turn off the light little point of light right same okay and the thing is is you can well here I'll show you okay I've got uh, this battery oh I actually didn't test it but it's a 9.6 volt battery but when they charge they charge it like 11 point something volts I've got this uh, battery which is also a 9.6 volt battery uh, I charged this probably about a month ago but right now it's at exactly 10 volts even though it's supposed to be 9.6 volts but like I said with 9.6 volt batteries they charge at 11 point something uh, this one's 7.2 volts you know because it has a you know three little uh, six triple A's inside of it so it makes 7.2 volt bat 7.2 volts uh, what was this one testing at uh, it was like 7.6 or some crap well anyways um, this is a regular 9 volt battery it runs at uh, what's it called uh, it runs at no yeah it's a 9 volt battery right now it has 8.8 .8 volts worth of charge on it and um, this is fresh off the charger it was like 8.6 uh, or something alright so anyways my point is and right down here on my filthy dirty floor I have a car battery which is 12 volts they usually charge it like 14 volts but my point to all of this is that whatever the voltage is okay that one's positive in the front and that one's negative in the back okay got it it's uh, going into our 5 volt volt, reg 5 volt regulator which is regulating the voltage at 5 volts which is going to be constant no matter what the input voltage is up to 36 volts Right after 36 volts, it'll start to get. Uh, well, after 36 volts, it'll probably catch on fire or something. 
and uh, the higher the voltage is that you have it on uh, the hotter uh, your voltage regulator is going to get. Okay, so that's 8.8 volts and uh, it's running this thing. It's nice and bright, full power, so you know there's yet another voltage that we can show that, uh, well, I don't know, maybe I can use this one. It'll be easier to get to. Okay. So there's my 9.6 volt battery. So my point is doing it like this. Doing it like this makes it so that you can hook this up to any, you know, voltage supply that you want which you know is wonderful and you know up to 36 volts but uh it can only go down to 6.6 .6 volts so uh if uh your input voltage is 6.6 6.6 oh, 6.5 6.4 volts then your voltage on this is going to start dropping so you want to make sure that your voltage is going to be you know above whatever but uh, you know, hey, you can plug this. You can take this and plug it right into there. You know, like I just showed you a second ago. Uh, which one's positive? Which one's not? That's positive. That's negative. Come on. Okay. So you know, we got a. 9 volt battery that runs this. Everybody loves 9 volt batteries. The only problem about this 9 volt battery versus that 9 volt battery or that 9 volt battery is that this one won't last as long as this one or as long as that one. So that's that's the only thing. That's the only thing. But uh, you know, these are 7.2 volt rechargeable batteries, fresh off the charge of like 8.6 volts. And uh, you know, um, this thing this thing can handle it and really what I would do if I were you is you know I wouldn't make it look like this exactly per se you'd want to have you know this on a PC board or I don't know um, glued up with hot glue whatever just you know make sure none of these wires you know touch each other of course and make sure no wires or any contacts touch this big metal piece because it's uh, it's grounded down here to ground and it'll conduct and you know crap can catch on fire and everything but um, I wanted to do it freestyle right out in the open so people can see and uh, you know my wires are kind of backwards on this thing but that's only because I 